Extra Grid enables you to sort and group with multiple columns at runtime. This is done using the Sort Info collection of the grid. In this video, we'll create a simple WinForms application and customize the code to automatically group and sort the data against two different columns at runtime. So let's get started. I'll start with a WinForms application that has a grid control added onto the form. I'll make the grid fill the entire forms area. I'll open the grid smart tag and invoke the data source configuration wizard. I'll leave database as the data source type and click on next. I'll use an existing connection to the cars DB sample database. For this demo, I'll select the cars table to supply data to the grid. And I'm done. I run the grids designer and switch to the columns page. I'll select the unnecessary columns and remove them. I close the designer and return to Visual Studio. I switch to code view. I'll now add some code in the form's load event to perform the grouping and sorting. I'll enclose the code within the begin data update and end data update calls. This will improve runtime performance by sorting the data only once after the end data update method is called. Before going any further, I'll add references to the following namespaces. Now, I add the following code to the form's load event. A sort info collection is created and populated with the columns which will be used to sort the data. I have specified to sort by data in the trademark and leader columns in ascending order and the model column data in descending order. Now I'm going to apply grouping to the data. For this, I'll use the clear and add range method of the sort info collection. This will clear the collection and apply sorting specified in the sort info collection. The integer parameter specifies the number of columns within the collection to be used for grouping the data. In this case, the data will be grouped by the trademark and the model columns as they are the first two columns in the collection. And that's it. I run the application to see the results. You'll see that the data is grouped and sorted by the trademark and model columns. Additionally, an extra sort is also applied to the data by the leader column. For further documentation on the extra grid, just click on the link below. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.